Robert Farago here from the truthaboutguns.com with a little insight into my eyesight. Something that perhaps our older readers, or in this case viewers, can relate to, especially those of you, of course, who are interested in shooting accurately, both for self-defense and perhaps for target practice or competition. Okay, here are my everyday glasses. Ridiculously expensive. Uh, Japanese lenses so that they're thin. Uh, I am blind as a bat. Jews and inbreeding, don't get me started. They have not one, not two, but three different levels of correction. Okay, and it's even stranger than that because it's kind of like an hourglass shape uh, on those different levels of correction. Now, I can use these glasses to see up close, kind of, see far away, certainly, and see middle distance. Okay, but the problem is that if I'm doing work with, say, a computer, let's say I was, I don't know, blogging 10 hours a day, uh, those aren't any good because I have to exactly position the computer screen in the middle to be able to see that well, and the computer screen being about uh, a foot away from my eyes. So I have these glasses, which just have the middle distance, okay? So they're kind of like reading glasses. You might want to think of it that way. And they're one type of correction. Okay, that's all very well and good, except when I go outside, in which case I have to have these sunglasses, which also have three levels of magnification. So these are basically those, but uh, polarized and all that stuff, and these are for close in. Now, there comes to be a real problem here, and that is that if I want to see the sights on my gun, I have to tilt my head back so that I'm looking, I have to do this one hand there, looking point with my thumb, I have to be looking through the bottom half uh, bottom third of these glasses, which means my head is tilted way back, and in a defensive gun use, I probably won't remember to do that. I'll just be tilting my head forward. In fact, tilting your head forwards is probably a better way to hold your head, so that doesn't work. See, if I want to see, taking out my Caracal carry piece, if I want to see those sights, I have to tilt my head back in order to see the sights, and then, of course, I can't see anything further out. So, not an ideal setup to wear these, or these, or these. So, I have these. Now, these glasses, which are tinted yellow for shooting, they're my shooting glasses at the moment, are a different kind of concept. What you have here is on the right lens, the close-in magnification. That's for close-in work. Okay, so I can see the gun sight absolutely clearly through the right lens. And on the left lens, there, I get far away vision. So, what that means, for those of you keeping score, is that I've got uh, this lens here, which is the close-in uh, lens, on the right side, and I have the top part of that on the left side. So I've got one eye that I can see, oops, sorry, one eye that I can see the sights absolutely perfectly, and another eye on the left where I can see things far away so that I can actually see the target. Now, I know that sounds weird, and it probably hurts some people. Some people can't actually abide by that, but it works for me okay. In other words, I can use it as my everyday glasses. So I'm having these untinted and made into thinner, because these are sort of an experiment, so they're like Coke bottle bottoms, right? Having these made thinner, expensive lenses, so that they're that, okay? And just for fun, here's another interesting problem, is that for wearing contact lenses, my contact lenses are just the far away lens part of that, which is also um, that. Uh, so then I would have to wear these on top of my lenses in order to, well, actually not those. Where'd they go? I'd have to wear these, right, reading glasses, which are just simple store-bought reading glasses, when I wear these contacts. But again, that's a problem when I'm shooting, so I probably should be wearing these, except not tinted, uh, and that. And then, of course, once I've got that done, if that works out, I've got to have them made into sunglasses, so this will become these two. I'll still have to use those for close-in work, and if I wear my lenses, I still have to wear that, and I probably will have to point shoot because I can't see nothing when I've got this combo going. And one more little bit of uh, complication. I'm red-green colorblind. And believe it or not, you can correct red-green colorblindness these days. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to get the camera on that. That is a tiny little red contact lens floating in there. Yes, now if you put that, or if I put that, in my right eye, then it corrects color. Now you can get that in prescription, but... <laughs> that's very difficult, because it doesn't really work for me at night, because this cuts out, this little red thing, cuts out some of my night vision. So I can't use that when I'm driving. 
So what that all means is that I've got a clear one made up without any prescription. So I can wear that with those, 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 or those, but certainly not those. Okay? So there you go. Uh, failing eyesight as you get older is a bit of a challenge, but I would certainly recommend that anybody who wants to be able to shoot, who has problems seeing near and far, has basically got crap eyes, try this approach, right? Where you have the uh, close-in lens on the right and the faraway lens on the left. It feels a bit weird initially when you're doing it, but uh, if your brain can handle it, uh, you average it out, and you can still see far, still see near, uh, it'll work out well. Of course, the other problem is, of course, when I had those, I still need those for computer work. So I would have, again, I'd have a pair of these that are those, uh, and wear those for close-in work, and not have those, we'll also have a pair of those that are those, and uh, not wear these unless I'm wearing that, and not wear that uh, with, th with those, because those would be three contact lenses, it wouldn't make sh sense, and that doesn't work with, well, that would work with anything, it's just clear, so it could work with that. But I wouldn't use those unless I'm using that. So these would, this would go with this, this, and this, but this will only be, these two will be this redone. Okay, everybody clear? Uh, I may create a flow chart if I get a chance. In any case, there is an answer to those of you who want to be able to see your front sight, see far away at the same time. Check it out.